What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stat Street Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about Brock Purdy, the new starting quarterback for the 49ers. Um, a lot of you 49ers fans, or some, I say a lot, but some I've been seeing, or even Cowboys fans, other NFC teams that you know, are in the contention, Eagles fans, are kind of celebrating now. You know, the Niners, who have, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, the best defense in the NFL right now. Uh, they lost their starting quarterback, Jimmy G, a uh, proven veteran, former uh, Super Bowl uh, participant for the Niners. He's out for the year with a broken foot. A lot of people are celebrating, saying the Niners are done for. They can't get back. I'm here to tell you, as a Falcons fan, I'm not a, Fal I'm not a Niners fan. I have no bias in, in this race. Uh, my team definitely out of the playoff race. Well, not out of the playoff race, but you no know, Super Bowl hunt. We're definitely not in that. But the Niners are not dead yet. Uh, Brock Purdy, seventh round pick, the last pick of this draft. He looked super duper comfortable versus Dolphins defense. Now I haven't seen Brock Purdy a lot in college. I did catch a couple of, um, Iowa State games. Solid game manager, but seeing him today. Uh, as a rookie, first appearance I've seen him in the NFL. I didn't watch him in the preseason if he did play. Um, he looked super comfortable. And one thing that was very important to me, Cal Shanahan in second in the second quarter went went forward on fourth and four. Cal Shanahan in big moments kept the ball in his hands. You know, he didn't take it out. He didn't rely on a running game too much where Purdy was like non existent as a quarterback. Purdy had a good throws. Purdy had good moments. Purdy, and I'll say this, Purdy looked like Jimmy G. <laughs> he looked like Jimmy G. No no BS. He looked like Jimmy G. Jimmy G does nothing special. Jimmy G does nothing special. You know, the injury definitely comes at a bad time, but it definitely shows light on Brock, Brock Purdy that the offense did not change. The scheme didn't change. They didn't get... Uh, you know how uh, when backups come in, you know the they stop being so aggressive and they do the rink the rinky dink simple basic play package. You know that anybody can uh, run. They didn't do that. They ran the same well simple offense, but they ran the same offensive style. No 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 cut to it. Straight up the same playbook. And I just want to say, pretty look pretty good. You know, and on the Jimmy G, as I was saying earlier, if I'm off on a little tangent, Jimmy G does nothing special. Yes, he's a veteran. Yes, you no, know, he's his his uh, winning percentage is is amazing. Yes, he's a former Super Bowl participant for the Niners, um, but you know, as we all know, he makes bonehead moves in the, in the worst spots possible. He misses throws a lot when, you know, going back to the Super Bowl a couple years ago when they could have beat the Chiefs, if I'm not mistaken. The Chiefs, yeah, it should have been the Chiefs, that that, that, that matchup. He had um, Emmanuel Sanders, and, and he missed a throw. Last year or the year before, whenever it was, he missed a couple throws. They were right there. They were right there, man. Yeah, it was last year yeah, uh, versus the Rams. They were right there. A couple of bad spots, a couple of bad throws, a couple of bad moments, and the game was lost. Now, the same can definitely happen for Brock Purdy. That's definitely you no know, possible. It's only one game. They couldn't really game plan for him, but he didn't do much that Jimmy G didn't do or couldn't do. You know, so that's my thing. He he looked very comfortable. He looked like Jimmy G. He moved on the run, threw off the run. You know, uh, play action looked pretty good. Didn't look too panicky in the um, backfield when when the pocket broke down. You know, he didn't throw the ball away. He took a sack or two here and there. So, so, yeah, the Niners have a good shot. And they have a number one defense in the NFL right now. Right now they're fully healthy. They just got back big man Eric Armstead, who played on limited stops today, looked pretty good. Once they're back healthy, they're a problem. And if, if they can stay healthy. Last year, I remember Fred Warner got hurt. You know, Nick Bosa's was always pretty often banged up. You know, um, so they can keep these guys healthy, their main core healthy. Uh, Nick Bosa had a heck of a game, but I will admit both tackles were out for both starting tackles for the Dolphins were out. So I will say that. But um, 
even when whoever's healthy at, at, at left tackle, you're going to have a, a hard daggone day with Nick Bosa. <laughs> that, that's a straight-up fact. So if they were there or not, if Armstead and Jackson for the Dolphins today were there or not, Bosa would still put some damage on him. He would still probably make some, some noise, maybe not three sacks, but you know he would have definitely made some noise and made some impact still on uh, Tua. Um, but, yeah, that defense is lights out. They just got back Aaron Armstead, and you have a rookie quarterback – who looks good, looked very good. Emergency start, you know, had no plan for it, and he was rock solid. Now, one thing I will say, and I might sound crazy, I did a video, a prediction video in the summertime on Cam Newton, right? You know where I'm going with it. Sign Cam Newton, but I'm going to go to my story first. <laughs> I did a video during, during the summertime prior to the season starting, it was on Cam Newton, and it was for the Tennessee Titans. It was a prediction video, Cam Newton going to the Titans, only because not to challenge Tannehill for a quarterback spot, not to, you know, take over nothing like that. It was just for certain packages. Cam Newton can still play ball. He can still run that rock. He maybe can't throw as much as he used to, you know, strong arm or accuracy. Never really been there, but he can definitely run that rock still. You have Christian McCaffrey. You have Debo Samuel. Both players often get banged up now. You trade away Jeff Wilson. You know, uh, the backup for the Niners today played well. I forgot his name. Forgive me for that. But I say sign it in the same way I said it back in, back in the summer for the Titans. Sign Cam Newton to take some pressure off your running back. I mentioned the same thing back then. Derrick Henry, there's no really good backup behind Derrick Henry. Sign Cam Newton to to just have packages, option packages, read option packages, RPOs, you know, fake run to a pass here or there, whatever. You can utilize him perfectly, and he'll give you maximum um, production in certain spots. You can't use him as a thorough too much too often. You know, I wouldn't want to start him. I really want him, want him to be my backup either. Just he'll be the third string guy, but he'll get some some quarterback sneaks, some quarterback powers, some options, maybe a fake throw to a game here or there, you know, in certain moments. But yeah, I think they should sign Cam Newton, bring him in to alleviate some of the pressure, some of the extra bag, you no know, banging, hitting hard plays on CM3, and uh. His, his number changed, isn't it? <laughs> He's not three anymore. Uh, Christian McCaffrey and uh, Debo Samuel get him some get get him a play or two off here and there in certain spots, just alleviate some of the pressure, some of the wear and tear on them. Give him a little bit of rest here or there because you want to have these guys long term pass this year. You know, uh, when Trey Lance or Jimmy G come back next year, we'll see what happens there. But I do still believe the Niners can go all the way with Brock Purdy. You're not missing too much with at least it's only one game. Get me wrong, but the way it looked, he looked like a savvy vet out there. He you're you're not missing too much of Jimmy G to where it's like man, it's a big drop off. He looked pretty daggone good versus a very solid defense. You know the, the Dolphin defense hasn't been great, but they they aren't they aren't trash either. You know Bradley Chubb, Melvin Ingram, Howard had a good pick today. They aren't trash. They they and they, put, and they brought the pressure. Purdy held up pretty strongly, made some big plays, and it came out with a W. You know, and uh, definitely defense will be leaned upon heavily. I don't expect Purdy to play great every – he didn't play great today. He was pretty, pretty – like I said, Garoppolo doesn't play great. (laughs) He's pretty good. He has his moments. He was getting better, more chemistry with the team. I understand that. But he doesn't play fantastic every week. He's a game manager, and Purdy will be the same. You know, that – the times you need to throw, the 15, 20 throws you need to make out of 30, you can give me 15, 20 good throws and you make them. And, you know, the running game is doing pretty well. The defense is strong. The Niners are definitely in play still. So that's my belief. Uh, let me see what you guys say in the comment section down below. But I do think the Niners are still in the title hunt with Brock Purdy at quarterback. That's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.